So I have a question for you today. Are you happy? If you had asked me that, great. If you, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. If you had asked me this about five or six years ago, I would have said, yeah, by and large, I'm happy. But things made me happy. Events made me happy. And so my story is, I, in 2005, I left a promising software career, and I hung out my shingle. I started my business. I faced fear. And I co-founded an agency, and it started to grow. Never expected that. At that point, I was actually traveling about a quarter of a million miles a year. I had four young children at the time, and I just wanted to be home. And then things started to take off. And we started to add employees. We started to get name brand clients. Uh, we started to, I personally started to establish a brand as a B2B marketer running a demand gen agency. I was being asked to speak at different conferences. And I gave everything I had to the business. And when we won a new deal, I was happy. When we met a revenue goal, I was happy. And so there was events, there was things that quote unquote made me happy, but there was a thing that was just gnawing at me is that it was never enough. And the real questions that I should have been asking is, do I have joy, contentment, and peace? And if you had asked me that five years ago, where from all appearances I had hit the entrepreneurial jackpot, our agency made two Inc. 5000 awards. If you're not familiar with what those are, those are awards given to the fastest growing companies, privately held companies in the country. I had written a book in 2015, which came out as an Amazon number, number one new release. But if you asked me about joy, contentment, and peace, and if I was willing to be honest with you at that point, I would have had to answer no. I would have had to tell you that I don't have joy, I don't have contentment, I don't have peace, because no matter the success that I had, it was never 